our viewers. Welcome back. On one hand, it is a regular conversation that we have here on the Mountain Morning Show. That being said, I'm a little bit of a new face here, so I don't know everybody who comes on a regular basis, but it's always a pleasure as a substitute host to chat with folks from our community who are doing good works on behalf of individuals and in this case businesses in our community and I'm excited to welcome back to the program from the Park City Chamber Rachel Bueller and for her first appearance on the program and I'm sure not her last a big warm mountain morning show welcome to Heather Cook good morning ladies good morning. great to see you Thanks. Heather welcome thank you so much nice to meet Happy you how are you doing I'm great this is a great way to start the day. <laughs> yes, happy Monday. Yeah. Indeed. And Rachel, welcome back, even Thank though you. you and I have not met in person before, but you're you're more familiar to the uh, Morton, Mountain Morning Show audience. Yes, than I'm familiar am, with so. this couch at the very least, right? Absolutely, so. absolutely. So we've got a lot to talk about. I was thinking this morning as I was getting ready to come over to the studio about this idea that we all know this phrase this concept of organization chamber of commerce and everybody sort of knows by wrote by tradition that if you're a business owner if you're involved in the business community that being in a member of the chamber of commerce is just a good thing but right. with some of the bullet points that you shared with us this morning I was thinking about the fact that it's a it's a thoroughly modern conversation yes. about the functions of the Chamber of Commerce talk about because one of the things we talked about outreach and, and benefits of membership right. and here we are in 2018 talk a little bit about that perspective exactly so with 2018 our marketing efforts are a lot different now than they were 10 years ago 20 years ago so upcoming we try to bring out a lot of journalists to Park City to talk about town but we we do it in a whole variety of ways now that we have new businesses, more modern businesses in town. Yes. Um, you know, on Main Street, our restaurants are really high-end gourmet. We're offering this incredible food in a landlocked state, which a lot of people find so funny sometimes, especially our coast visitors. Um, so with that, we always have to change the way that we're advertising and marketing to the country, to the world. So this fall, with our wonderful Autumn Aloft coming up, our big hot air balloon festival, we are taking advantage of that and bringing a group of journalists out to see that. They'll be riding in the balloons, lucky them. But then from there, we're talking about all the wonders of fall in Park City. I think a lot of people don't realize the West Coast really has this beautiful foliage. It's not just Absolutely. New England that has the colorful right. leaves. So we like to highlight that aspect as well. And shrink our uh, shoulder season. I think our hotels are really seeing a lot more guests coming in this time of year. Our restaurants are not closing down temporarily before the winter season kicks off. So we're really capitalizing on that and trying to bring the attention out now because it really is such a spectacular time of year and our businesses are booming and our locals are you know, just enjoying the fresh air after all the, the hot summer season that we had. So people are just good spirits from that as well. Um, another way that we're trying to promote that is through an influencer campaign. Now, influencer specifically means anyone who has an influence over an audience. I think modern day, a lot of people think that's specifically social media. And in this instance, it actually is. We are working with a couple that um, their kind of claim to fame is showing the romance aspect of traveling. They're called Romaru. So we're bringing them out in two weeks from now, um, early September, so that they can show their audience, again, the fall season, slightly ahead of time so that anyone who's reading their posts or seeing their social media will be able to go online and book a trip right away and maybe catch the tail end of the fall season this year or even plan ahead to next year. But it's just a great way to throw the attention out there in a different way. So, you know, we're getting the attention of Romaru's audience. And it's, I mean, it's just fascinating the way it works. It's, it's such an interesting change to mm -hmm. me as somebody who was originally trained in, in finance and, and analysis that we live now in a world where you get feedback almost immediately and it, maybe in the old days you would say, even though we didn't use the word influencer, uh, these, these people are influential right. in many ways, but 
it, it was hard to quantify exactly what that meant. Mm -hmm. Now, right, the first thing we do, uh, first thing I'll do on my phone Grab after it. our conversation yep. is go check out Romaru on the gram exactly. and see what their see what right. their following is. What look at their different posts and see what mm -hmm. kind of posts have different kinds of of impact and, yeah. and engagement. And it's really fascinating that we can quantify down in a in a really right. analytical scientific level what it is that you're seeking and obtaining yes. in making these associations. Yes, that really real-time messaging is really what we're trying to utilize now because that is how it works you know if you're on Instagram for example and you see a post that someone has you look at their comments feed and you'll see people who say where did you take this photo or where did you have this breakfast I want to go there I want to visit this place and it really does work we have you know tangible evidence that people are really paying attention to what their their stars are are doing and that lean forward that people have, if you can segue into that audience, powerful in a way that we really haven't right. seen before. Right, and the reason we do that is because not only are we a um, uh, Chamber of Commerce, but we're also the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Yes. Not all organizations have that combined. So we're a little bit special where we have to cater to our businesses in town and make sure that they're all having the networking experiences and making sure that they're really having this um, robust interaction with the community, which is where Heather's specialty comes in. But, Nicely played. <laughs> but we also have to make sure that we're advertising to the greater audience yes. here in the United States and abroad, overseas, you know, across the world. We're trying to get the messaging out there that Park City is a place that you want to come because we're trying to help the businesses here grow from the visitation that we all love and need. Absolutely. Heather, talk a little bit about your role and talk about, uh, it, I think Rachel was alluding very uh, effectively to the idea that with the combination of the organizations, also in a way it's like you're serving Park City Yes. in a much broader sense than just a Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. definition. Absolutely. So as a Chamber of Commerce and a Convention and Visitors Bureau, I always say that we have a lot more resources that we can point our member businesses to. We have so much going on kind of under one roof. My role as the member services manager and the role of Nancy Gray, our VP of member services, is really to act primarily as a point of contact for our member businesses, a resource, an advocate for our business community. And we do that through a number of avenues just in terms of marketing opportunities for member businesses, whether that's in the, the visitor center or our guest guides or through our business directory on our website, numerous networking opportunities, numerous discount programs in years past. Our discount ski pass programs have been really popular with member businesses and their employees. That's always a, a popular one we're already mm -hmm. starting to get questions about for this sure, season. So sure. actually, I haven't heard anything yet. So if you're curious, <laughs> if you are a member business and you're wondering where those at, those are at, uh, we'll let you know as soon as we hear something. <laughs> yeah. um, so a lot a lot going on kind of under one roof and then we have uh, a number of member events coming up as well. So kind of new to the calendar are our uh, open office hours. So we try to find ways to reach out and connect with as many member businesses as possible but kind of continuing to find ways to facilitate that uh, once a month on a Tuesday morning from 10 to 11. We'll be at the chamber open, ready to um, answer any questions from members who might want to pop in. Maybe you've never been to our office before and you just want to see it. You haven't had a chance to meet us face to face yet or you have specific questions about how to use your member portal or how to take, you know, um, uh, use your benefits, maximize your benefits. Um, so that is available kind of just as an open opportunity, another way to connect with our members and that will be uh, all of those dates and times on our, on our uh, Chamber Events calendar and our website. Yeah, and so our website is visitparkcity.com. Members can already see that there's a, um, a members link right at the top. Anyone who's not a member can just visit our website and find out how to contact Heather and Nancy as well. But you know, there are so many benefits to being a member. But we do have this really nice calendar of events for our members to utilize. Mm -hmm. um, another newer one that you guys are doing are the educational seminars. Yes, so those were uh, a series we used to offer on a regular basis. 
now starting in August and every month we'll be offering a professional education seminar. This month is Cybersecurity for Business with uh, Executech, which is an, a Utah IT provider and it's going to be really valuable I think for any, any business um, in the Park City community. So that's August 29th mm -hmm. and that's free to members. And then in September we'll be having a Facebook for Business um, with uh, Face It Social Media Marketing and they will be kind of just giving an update on on how to maximize Facebook for your business through using your social media channels. Um, and then we're going to be looking to schedule them monthly and kind of mix it up and, and hit a broad range of topics that are, that are relevant to all of our member businesses. And for those, it is RSVP, right, specifically? Yes. Because those are a little more intimate of a setting, a sure. smaller group so that people can ask questions and get the most out of it. So yeah. um, just yeah. sign up ahead of time. And Make sure to get your spot before right. they before yes. they all fill up. Right. I'm, I'm curious, and we have some, some great photographs that y'all have brought, uh, getting excited and ready for the colors to spring. Yes. As we were yes. discussing, uh, it, it's exciting to see the colors in fall. They may be a little bit earlier because it's been a dry summer, mm -hmm. but optimism reigns and it's just going to be absolutely great. The exactly. balloons are amazing, uh, whether you're in one of those gondolas or like me just on the ground looking up admiring them I know. Is, <laughs> yes is a, a, a fantastic opportunity to get out of doors and and, yes. and to visit park city exactly fantastic ladies so visitparkcity.com correct is the place to start and and can you get through to, to chamber information through Visit Park City or should we yes. cite another website as well? That's the only one you need to remember, mm -hmm. visitparkcity.com. Very good, and social media handles? We're, we're up there, Visit Park City. You got We'd that like one as well. We like to make it easy, yep, Facebook, Instagram, Very Twitter. Very good. Rachel, Heather, nice to meet you both. Thank Thanks you for so coming much. in. Thank you. Best wishes for continued success and thanks for the work that you do as we make absolutely the very most that we can out of our business opportunities here in Thank PC. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, you guys, visit parkcity.com and that's an order. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more show after this. Please stay tuned.